Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. We're back to rocking through Wind Waker. I'm just gonna skip that since it's chugging, because that's what it does on the main screen. It's fine, everything's fine. So, uh, where'd we leave off? Wind Waker. Ah, yes, I remember now. The Tower of the Gods. <laughs> oh man, I was just thinking back to the Game Grumps episode where they got here and didn't realize that you could move the boat without the sail. And it, uh, they, they kind of struggled because <laughs> they just sat there not knowing what to do for a while. But anyway, so we're in the Tower of the Gods. So we, uh, we, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, uh, we collected all the pearls that we needed from, uh, the different, the, the different, like, deity guys or whatever. And they have, uh, and that has activated this wonderful challenge for us in this tower. So, uh, so here's a cool thing with this. Um, I want to kill this guy quickly because, uh, that water that was rising, um, yeah, that's still going. <laughs> so from here, I want to do a bit of damage. So we're going to... Let's do a bit of that here. Oh, wait, what did, did I, did I just do that? <laughs> I thought I did it right. Nope. Ooh, perfect landing. That's how it's done. Fantastic. Not like, not like we're short on bombs now that we got 99. I'm just gonna scoot this over here. Because we need to. And that, then when the water rises, we just pop on up here. Which I think this is just the map. Maybe. Oh, nope. <laughs> ah, darn switch controller. Mixing up my buttons. I really need one of those USB uh, GameCube controllers. That would be a wonderful investment. And, like, it would just, it just makes sense. I got a lot more GameCube games to play. And this one, I think... I think Zelda is maybe the the most muscle memory I have from a game, just because I played this so many times. And uh, oh gosh, four of them! Don't let them get shock me in here. No, thank you, gentlemen. I'll climb up here then. Um, oh, oh. Well, that's one way to take care of them. I didn't even think about that. Sweet. <laughs> Actually, survived. Um, let's see. I wonder if I can. Oh. <laughs> let's see if this will be enough. Nope. Just need to scoot this a little closer. And then we'll do this, because I forget what's in here, but I know it's something. And I want it. Because I'm a greedy guy. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't you dare zap me. Oh, that's... Oh, that's it. Great. Fantastic. That was a good use of my time. Anyway. Moving right along. Back into this world. Uh, right. Let's see. I think I want over here. If I could stop running into the wall. Thank you very much. Climb up on this. No, oh, climb. Climb. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to learn some new mechanics here. We've got this. Set down on this. Our little things here. Those guys look cute. I bet they won't try to murder me later. You are simply annoying. Okay, this is uh, this is a cool one. I love this with the uh, with the water um, stuff because this is a cool little trick. So the nice thing that they taught us how to put stuff put things onto things. So now we put this onto here. <gasps> Light bridge. 
I wonder if this is the same stuff they use in Portal. <laughs> or Portal 2, I guess it would be. I really need to get get my uh, uh, get my Windows stuff running because I really do want to play Portal on here. Um, still one of the best one of the best games out there, and d easily in my top five. So Portal and Portal 2 both need to be played here. I think can I run back in time? Probably not. But I will try. I did it. And yes, you can carry these through the doors. Other stuff you normally can't, but you can definitely carry these. And I don't want to throw it. I want to set it down properly. And then we'll go in here. And I'm not sure if the other room was meant to teach you, but like, as you can see, those walls are cracked over there, so we'll have to bomb those later. But we want to go in here first so that we can get, um, I think over here is where we get, um, like the next stuff, or like the, the compass. I think we got, we got the map already, so I think the compass is over in here, so, you know, just part of the routine. Again, I don't know if I actually need need to go in here but uh, it's just part of my routine this is this is how i remember doing it so that's what i'm doing <laughs> sailing sailing through the tower of gods good job link now just sit in the water while it rises i feel like if it rose at this low i, I don't know if you would actually float or if like you would sink under the water with that kind of movement i don't know I don't know how buoyancy works. I'm not. I'm not a physicist. Would that be physics? Chemist? I guess it would technically be physics. Although we don't really think of physics with that kind of stuff. Like when I think physics, I think of either like more math stuff. Like I don't think of oceans. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Okay, this is cool. We got to make ourselves a bridge. So we need to know how far we can jump on things. Wait, there, there, there was another box there. Where'd it go? There was definitely a box close by here. Where'd that box go? What in the world? Oh, it must have been because I landed on it. That's weird. I didn't know. I hope it doesn't stay like that. Otherwise, we've glitched out our bridge. Nope, nope, nope. Pull it back. One more. There we go. Alright, there we go. So, jumping abilities. Uh, that's too much. Okay, I need them spread out a little bit more. Yep, definitely too much. Alright, so these will get pushed too. Nope. Line it up. Two. And one. And then this guy is probably one closer. And then I think we're good. So let's do a test run. Yep. One, two, three, four. I think that will work. I think we can still hold the thing when we catch a wall. Okay. So we'll give this a shot. Get us out of here. Come on. Wish there was a ladder. Just speed things up a little bit. One of the few... There's not as much, like, waiting around for things in this game, but every now and then there are things that are still kind of mildly annoying. Um, I'm gonna wait. Yep, I was right. I was right to wait. Get a new one. Fresh stick. Everyone needs a fresh stick. Alright, ready to jump. Let's do this, Link. Butlet. There we go. For his name shall forever be Butlet. <laughs> there we go. And what is our great reward? Better be something good, or I'm gonna be disappointed. It's a key. Ah, so we did need to go in here. Fair enough. Uh, of course. Ow! No, no, get away from me. Get away from me. 
Can I jump him? I can jump him. Ha <laughs> ha! Escape. Don't want to deal with him. Much like many things in this in this game, I just kind of want to keep running. It's just easier. <laughs> All right. Uh, luckily, after this section, we don't have to sail around in this boat anymore, or deal with the water puzzles anymore. Instead, we'll get to deal with swinging puzzles. So that's fun, I suppose. It's not really that fun. I don't know. It's not too bad. I like the atmosphere on this level. Um, the 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 men's choir like doing the the vocal work in the background is a nice touch in this boom sailing we were sailing sailing the wind was on our side I just watched Muppet Treasure Island the other day <laughs> still good still a great one uh, Tim Curry at his finest <laughs> Maybe not his most remembered role, but uh, still a good one. Got to give credit where credit is due. All right. Is there stuff in here for me? Oh, uh, yeah. So this eye will come into play later. Oh, oh right. Darn you. Uh, so we can come back later, but I'll probably forget. Because uh, once you have arrows, if you shoot that eye, it'll open up and it'll give me... Uh, I think there's a treasure chart behind there, so not not super necessary. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you can come back later, like in the um, Dragon Roost, where you get the um, where when when you get the the grappling hook, you can go back to this one area and uh, find a, a treasure chart across the that like uh, thing that you have to to what's it called sail across. But uh, since we don't need to uh or since since we would have to backtrack a lot it's kind of like nah i don't think so okay we got these guys oh we've got these guys they swim pretty good i don't like it they're just balls of slime how are you guys such good swimmers nope no 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 dang it No! No! Dang it. I have to wait. Why am I so unskilled? My abilities are lacking. I must destroy them. Must destroy. Where? Hit them. Hit them first. And then kill them. Um... How do I... Oh, okay, good. I'm like, is there some secret to this that I'm missing? Nope, it's just kill the enemies. Easy enough. More light bridges. Pick that up, because why not? And I'll go ahead and just take this. Thank you very much. And... Toss it in the water. Because I felt like it. I guess it doesn't disappear in here. Though I think if you toss it in here, it will, uh, just, you have to go back and get it. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's your own fault. Like, you, you did the hard part. Like, just don't, don't destroy it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> oh, those faces are terrifying. I like that, uh, someone, someone did, like, a theory recently that, uh, the, the actually that the Tower of the Gods is actually made by the Sheikah tribe, which is uh, not featured in this game. Um, the Sheikah are not in this, but I mean, I think before that, the only game they appeared in was uh, with like um, um, what's what's her names? Uh, Sheik. Well, Sheik was spoiler alert. Sheik was Zelda, and then um, her her like guardian Impa, who was a Sheik, uh, Sheikah. And so, but then they play, the Sheikah play a bigger role in future games, specifically Breath of the, Breath of the Wild, excuse me. Um, and they, and it's interesting because they make the comparisons to this. And then the fact that the boss at the end of this level is very similar to a boss in essentially a Sheikah based uh, dungeon in Ocarina of Time. So it's an interesting comparison to think that like this could be related to that in some way, um, 
I don't know. I just think it's a cool concept. You know, you never you never know what these kind of things like where the influence came from and like what the significance of some of the stuff is. So it's a it's a neat idea to give it kind of a different expectation of like what the, these connections between the games are. Because obviously, you know, Nintendo puts together Zelda games like they're like, this is what we're doing. And that's just it. It's so like, um, you know, and then I think they worry about the interconnection later. There's always other references to other Zelda games, but, like, that's not the main point of Zelda titles. The main, the main point is more along the lines of, uh... Oh, right. Can't kill that! Right. Arrows kill that. <sighs> or, or bombs, technically. And rats. Kill the rats. Luckily, this isn't too fast. But we have to avoid it still, because we gotta get these across. Ow. Seriously? Ah. Okay, well, hang on. We might be safe here. Ah. Hey, this actually works. I've never done this before like this. Yes! Got him. Haha. <laughs> So that's kind of nice. <laughs> Taking care of that. Don't have to worry about that guy now. Those those lasers are annoying. <laughs> They're much easier to kill once you have arrows. Luckily. Oh. And there we go. Activate! The shifting pillars of tallness. That's what they're called. Obviously. <laughs> And jump. And jump. And jump. All right, there's nothing up here. There's more stuff in other rooms. All right. So now we have our three challenges here. We got these pedestals. What do they lead to? Well, I'll tell you. Things. These are cool. I love I love this element of the game. Um it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just a cool way to to see things in this game is the having to experience these levels in different ways. And then um, just it, this is just a new puzzle solving mechanic that I think works really well. Kill them both. There you go. Good thing they're weak. <laughs> All right, so we got more light floors here. So as you can see, I can walk underneath this, but what is this here? Hello, Let's just read the thing. Press R to call me. <laughs> One of the few lines of dialogue that Link actually speaks, that's not hit, hit, hit. Look at this guy, isn't he adorable? And by adorable, I mean terrifying. All right, so you can pick these up, but check this out. Oh no, but you can follow me, and so you should do that. I wish you didn't have to do that because it takes forever, because your little hopping body takes, you know, is not good at moving very well. There we go. All right, now you can do this. Oh, well, that was dumb. I failed. Wait, that lost me a heart? That's crazy. Come on. Maybe I just had to jump. Or maybe I just should throw it. Like, get close to the edge and then throw it. I don't know. I thought it was close to the edge, and, but apparently I was... Not not close enough and just end up falling off. Alright. Can you make this throw? Nope. I guess I just have to jump. Okay. One more heart gone? Oh no, it's just a quarter heart. Still. Why am I getting hurt for this? I can't throw him on top of the platform, can I? Just just to Nope. Okay. Alright, let's just do this, buddy. 
I feel like this is the kind of thing that like a little kid can probably figure out and then there's me. <laughs> it's too complicated for my brain. I'm 30. Almost 31. Oh my god. Almost 31. What a ridiculous time to be alive. Just in general. I mean, right now is honestly a ridiculous time to be alive in general. It's kind of terrifying. Alright, more slimes to deal with? Nope. Alright. I've brought you to safety. Hop, hop. Oh, and now we get to learn a new song. Yay! The control song. <laughs> the song for you to be able to enslave other beings. Because that's essentially what it is. You know, I will say, the one thing I wish with this, that this song should have been, uh, it should have negated the need to ever buy those pears again. Because the ability to control things, it's like, why can't I control seagulls with this? That's what it should have been. But no, it's just for weird objects, but also people. Da, da, da. All right, I got it. I got it. You can just show me once. I can figure it out. And then we actually have to change the time signature here. Fantastic. I learned a thing. Use this to your advantage. All right, fine. Control and guide them. That sounds a little... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have much to say. Okay, this guy. I like that they light up the doors too, so it's easy to identify which one you're going in. All right, here we go. Wait, I forgot, they don't get hurt. I think... Do, do anything, does anything hurt them? I forget. I mean, other than arrows, which I already know. All right. Do this. Oh, here's something cool with this. Um, so if you're like looking at this room and you're like, how do I get across? Like, this is crazy. But then you look at Link, look at him. He's looking up. He can find like those special things that you need to look for, which is so great. That is such a, wonderfully designed game mechanic to be able to like find what you're looking for and what you need to do um just by following your character's like eye line um i don't know it's just i just think it's really cool <sighs> and it really you know it, it, i i think it's important especially for games that are like in a in a long series like legend of zelda where if you've never played one of these, you don't necessarily know how to do everything. You know, this is going to be someone's first Zelda game, no matter what. I mean, it was my first Zelda game, so... Um, stay. Okay, stay. And then I'm going to do this. Make a light bridge, and now we're going to control your mind. I do wish it didn't have to go through this every single time, but, you know, we don't have the remake, so no big deal. And now we get to control this guy, so just like how we controlled the seagulls before, which is why I say that this should not have been, th this should have been a feature where you got to do this. Uh, okay, so now we'll return. He will stay there and wait for us since we don't get the bridge, so we just get to swing. And off we go. Pick you up, walk through the door, and then, as you saw out here, there's a button that we need pressed, but there was nothing to hold it down. And now we have that. Stop hurting me, stupid skull. Laugh at me, will ya? How about I just murder you? I saw my stone was activating there for a second, but I don't need to listen. I know where I'm going. I swing, swing, swing. Slow swing, because it's a long swing. This would be fun, if it wasn't for the bottomless pit below us. Give me, give me a heart. Well, that's not useful. Alright, so now we get to experience a battle with a creature that 
will become much more common later, but for this, it's the first time, just like the Moblins before. Now, we get to face a Dark Knot. I think it's a Dark dark Knot, not a Dark Nut, but I don't know. And this is a great use of the parry, because you have to break his armor, and you can only do that by parrying him. Of course, you can also just do this. As you saw, uh, he actually broke. Oh, I stole his, stole his knight's crest. So you remember we got uh, a message from our uh, our sword mentor guy from home, where he was like, "Give me ten knight's crests, and I will teach you something." So this is who we get them from, Dark Knots. So pretty pretty easy to defeat, honestly. But they're like the first time you fight them. I mean, it's enough of a challenge for you to go, "Wow, that was that was something." Um, there are some tougher ones later on, but, uh, the standard ones are pretty straightforward, for the most part. But the cool thing, then, this sword is super powerful, so... Powerful enough to break stone pillars. How's about that? How's about them apples? And you can also do it by throwing. Because that's more fun. Wow, I, that animation actually was like really good for like the crumbling pillar like falling apart before tipping over. God, the animation is great. It seriously does hold up so much better than more realistic games. Like this, cell, the cell shade graphics really work so well for this. Yes, yes, thirty arrows. And unfortunately, we can only carry thirty for. A while. We have to wait until we get another item before we can carry any more than that. So. Oh, we got a s is he still. Oh, yeah, he's still over there. So. And now. So we do gotta sw swing back over. Oh, I should have probably dealt with that first. Oh, he just hurts me. Get away. I said, get away. What did I just say? Okay. Now, luckily, we can just deal with these guys now like this. If I would not waste some arrows. I only got 30 of these, Link. Do it right. Boom. There we go. Yeah. What a, like, what a horrible concept. Like... How, how do we activate this? Why don't we shoot a sentient eye? Oh, why would you do that? That sounds like a terrible thing to do. Oh yeah, and these guys are alive now. <laughs> and how do you defeat them? Why shooting them in the eye, of course. So, um, yeah, th that's a nice touch that, of course, of course you don't want to have them activate before you have arrows because you couldn't kill them. So, wouldn't make sense. No sense at all. Okay. So that's two out of three. And then... This one takes a little bit longer. There's a little more in-depth... <sighs> digging on this one. So let's go ahead and do this too. Where are we at with recording? About half hour? That's not so bad. Don't think we need the Wind Waker for the moment. So we'll just go ahead and kill these bats. Thank you very much. The nice thing with the boomerang is that even if you're not, like, you don't have to continue following them. As long as you get a lock on once, you're you're golden. There we go. And then it'll just follow them. Really makes the boomerang pretty super effective. Great. Uh, let's get you. And then I'll get bombs out. Yes, yes, 99 bombs. And, of course, don't throw it until it's ready to explode. Did I... I missed. I'm terrible at this game. Ah, Just timed it wrong. Not enough. Ah, I did it again. Too soon. There we go. Alright, what's in here? I forget. Is this a... Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, these guys. <laughs> I like these guys. Why? I don't know. Because they're funny. Because they're big and ridiculous. So, I think this is the first time you see the symbol. And I'm sure if you look at it, it'll tell you like what you need to do, but... Uh, if you see the symbol of the wind on the on the floor, you want to activate it by playing the wind song. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Big ridiculous beasts. And these guys can also destroy those pillars. Because that's what they do. Oh hey, sweet. More money. And other things. Give me arrows. Fantastic. Alright, what's in this box? Is this a big key? Already? Oh yeah, d er, no. Oh, it's just a treasure chart. Boring. Okay, yes, yes, I know about treasure. Oh my gosh, why does it have to go through this every time? Why can't I skip it? <sighs> so annoying. Okay. Right, so we gotta go over here. Other end. This is where we need to go. This gives us a thing. I think probably like a small key or something. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, oof. Almost fell off. Oh, oh, I should really get that out. Well, <laughs> well, that was my own dumb fault. That that was that was a bad move on my part. Should have been. Ooh, boom. Wow. Okay. Just uh. Yeah. We'll just uh. Just keep failing. That's fine. It's it's cool. I I wasn't I wasn't expecting to live anyway. Ooh. Got him. Got him. Oh no! Moving targets. Whatever shall I do? Pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, I think there's a joy pennant in that one, but I don't care. Seriously? I bumped off of it. I hope that skull didn't respawn. Okay. Alright, we can just do this. Whew, <laughs> just made it. What we got here? Yep, there it is. Small key. I know there's something on the other side, too. Yep. Alright. Does that line up with that? No, I have to go on this. Yes. Yes. Hop on. There we go. Ooh, got it! <laughs> that was nice. I was like, how much magic did I use up? I forgot I keep flying and missing terribly. Luckily, these go in a pretty straightforward pattern, so you don't have to do much. <laughs> I almost missed again. Almost missed again. And you're like, oh, but what's over here? It doesn't look like there's anything over here. Aha. And I think I have to get back on there. Don't think I can. Nope, not quite. All right, gotta ride the thing. <sighs> One more moving target. Why not? Oh, totally forgot. Boom. There we go. Treasure chest for the mighty. I don't know why it's for the mighty. <laughs> All right. What do we got in this? Treasure chart? Joy pennant. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Everything is perfect. How many joy pennants do we have now? Actually. Oh! We're almost at the amount we need. So that's nice. I guess that's not a bad thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Almost out of magic. Almost out of magic. I think there's in those pots over there. And maybe here. Bomb. Arrow. Give me magic. I kind of need it. 
Magic is very important in this game. We'll get that upgrade soon. Double arrow. Well, that's just great. Still no magic. So I, I, I just remembered. So with this, um, obviously those scales, we need to weigh those down with these, which I find funny. So if you um, throw one of these onto the scale, then it obviously weighs it down. But then if I stand on it, it's perfectly balanced, which means that I'm able to pick up an item that is as heavy as I am. So, like, Link is ridiculously strong, because <laughs> he's able to lift something his own weight above his head. Like, he's, he's, pro he's probably, like, I don't know, like, Link's pretty small. He's, he's probably, like, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds, maybe? And he can lift something that weight above his head that easily. Like, that is, that is some skill for such a small child. So, that's, that's pretty wild. Oh yeah, and of course we need that uh, the magic there so that we could get over this. Oh, that horrible laser beam sound. Boop, boop, boop. And then with this guy, we can't walk through the lasers, so we gotta control him again. So, oh, nope. Different time signature. I'm learning music theory. <laughs> About as basic of music theory as you can get. Because what what basic music theory teaches 6-4? No, uh, not many. Deactivation. You stay there. It'd be funny if he just jumped up and like walked away. And, <laughs> and I'm like, I can't get back in. And he's like, sorry, I can get back. Maybe you should have thought about that. Oh no. Oh, that's a that's a good sign to uh, save here. Also a good sign that I should shoot this wizard. Oof, those guys are awful. Wizard robes they're, they're not they're not like too terrible of a of an enemy, but later on there's a there's like some superpower ones and they can summon more enemies to fight with you as well. But uh, I should save. Definitely save. Uh, yes, yes, I would like to continue playing. Thank you very much. Um, so because this guy is like, as weighs as much as me as well. So now we have to weigh it down even more. So how much do we need to weigh it down by? I think just three will do, pretty sure. As long as it's more than us together, that should be enough. If not, we'll grab a fourth, but... <sighs> I just want to move things along. There we go. Perfect. That should be good. Hello, my friend. I've come to rescue you. Let's get out of here. Yep, perfect. Just enough. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. <sighs> slowly, slowly making his way. <laughs> I like their horns. <laughs> the magic that resonates within me is activated. Everything's in threes in this game. You would think it would have some significance. Spoiler alert, it does. But if you've played any Legend of Zelda game, you know that already. Uh, what was the first one? Was it, was it this one? Because there, there was a thing I could activate. Oh no, this is the second one. Get, no, no, get out of here. So we just rescued this guy. So I think it's in here. Just before I go in there, I want to head up, check out this thing, because there's things in it that I want. And also, there's another whiz robe. You can shoot him quickly enough to just kill him in, like, 
before he disappears, but uh, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. And I'm gonna get out my leaf. And I'm not going back to the other one, but I was gonna do this because this is close enough that it's not like a big delay. Seriously. <laughs> you stupid things. And up! Up we go. I forget what's in here. I think it's just another like floating block puzzle basically. But I'm pretty sure, oh no, it's just kill these guys. Fair enough. <laughs> Easy to murder. Also, you can blow up these with uh, bombs, so you can do that too, if you if you feel like it. Because sometimes there's rupees inside of these towers or pillars. I know I know what a pillar is. Oh, and arrows. Lovely. And some hearts, some bombs, rupee. Fantastic. All right, eh, there was just a heart in that one. Didn't matter. Um, it's not a treasure chart, it's just a joy pennant. So isn't that nice? We wasted our time for a joy pennant. Oh well. Let's get out of here. And now these guys activate because they know I have my bow. <laughs> Clever little... Uh, get it, uh, thing. Um, uh, okay. Hop into this and now we zoom we zoom upwards to our towards our main confrontation so these guys much easier to kill now okay they still suck to kill oh yeah that's how we do it I just wanted to kill him. I didn't need to. I just wanted to. Because that's what I do. Because I'm a murderer. I mean, really, like, I would, you know, I'm curious how many creatures you actually kill. Like, obviously they are evil. Obviously they're dangerous. But how many creatures do we actually kill in this? Like, this little kid has murdered many, many, um, at least some of them are sentient beings. So that's interesting. Because actually, like, obviously the moblins, like, you're like, oh, those are just horrible pig creatures and they're they're dangerous and they're just monsters. But apparently later on, we actually find out that one has uh, at least some level of, like, compassion because, oh, oh right, I forgot about you guys. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, just, just, just hurt me, that's fine. I don't care. And then he sliced the gems on their backs. I watched them run around like crazy people. Get away from me. Alright, well that was fun. Um, yeah, so we yeah, actually learned that there is a moblin with some... You know, why hasn't anyone done any, any sort of uh, um, like theory thing on that? Because they really should. Like, the fact that there's a moblin that, like, has, like, human compassion and almost, uh, he kind of has, like, a crush on a human. Which is weird at, at, weird to say the least. Like, that should not be, alright, these guys, much easier. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Give me that feather. <laughs> Dead. Not big surprise. All right. This guy. Easy kill. Take that. And this guy can just run past. Unfortunately, with these ones, you kind of have to kill them to get by them. So even though you're wasting your arrows, it is actually required. So. Whatever, I'll do it. Just die. There we go. All right. Just skip on past him. 
We've got full hearts, don't need that. Now we got arrows. Let's save up real quick, just to make sure. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. We're hitting right at the 45 minute mark, so we'll get to leave off with a with a cool expectation for the next one. Yep, here we go. I think this guy's called Goma. <laughs> chosen one accept this final challenge <laughs> hope I don't totally murder you <laughs> like what would that be the, the case like what if the what if the, the the your your expected hero came in and he wasn't prepared and like this actually killed him would they be like oh crap now who who <laughs> go find another child to to kill Ganondorf instead we got a lot of moving parts here, so this might be a little tougher on our processing power. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy, more things. Wait, that hit? How did that hit me? Let's get off of there. Dang it. It's going around again. That, that last one just must have just barely hit us. And now we throw. <laughs> Blow them up. So this is a funny one too, because if you um, obviously you need arrows to complete this, but if you actually run out of arrows, um, <laughs> he shoots he, he gives you more arrows from his nose. So that's fun. Come on. Oh, you guys. Get away from me. What? Oh, come on. Just take out one eye. And we'll wait on the other. Yep, and that's why we wait. He's gonna shoot his lasers at us again. Oof, at least he didn't knock us out of the out of bounds again. Because that's annoying. Just one more. Come on. Just stay still. God. You're so annoying. This is this is definitely one of the um most I, I consider this to be a, a, one of the more annoying bosses. I don't like fighting him. <laughs> Arrows out the nose. Come on. Just, there we go. And now for you. Never takes more than two hits. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was quite the dodge. Now that was a hero's dodge. Come on. There we go. Down to one arrow. After, of course, his gift of another, so. The beast has been defeated. The magic shining light. Yes, I am the chosen one. I am no longer just a random child whose sister was kidnapped. Now, I am the hero. I have officially accepted my role as protagonist of this game. Ugh. Oh, these moments of particle effects when everything slows down. <laughs> I have returned to my place of rest. Oh, by the way, here's uh, more things from my nose. <laughs> Thank you for that kind gift. All right, get me out of here. Cool. Oh, oh yeah, this teleports me. Just like the last couple times. Don't look so surprised, kid. You know what's going on.
I love the setting of this. Like, the fact that they have to teleport you up here. Because it's just... I don't know. It's so barren. But, uh, oh yeah. Hey, hey Orion. Um, all that's left is just this, this bell up here. It's so simple. There's nothing else to it. Like, it's very, it's very ceremonial looking. Like, maybe it just looks plain to some, but, like, I just think it looks very much like this is clearly where, like, a ritual would be held. And that ritual involves ringing a bell. <laughs> Good thing I've got my grappling hook, because that wasn't part of the test that uh, had me fighting that giant face. What if I didn't have a grappling hook? You don't know. Well, I guess I wouldn't have gotten through the rest of the tower without a grappling hook. Like, that's some teleporter. That sent me all the way to the top of this. And here we go. Alright, we'll go ahead and, uh, head down. Because, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to... I could, I could leave this as a surprise for next time of what happens. Well, actually, I, I don't think I have to sail into it. It actually just brings it in. So this is technically a cutscene. So you're going to see it anyway. So we're going to do this. Your true trial will begin. I, <laughs> it's like, what, trials and hero stuff and all this? Like, I was just trying to save my sister. Like, what are you talking about? And below the waves we go. And it turns out Link was not the hero they expected, and he quickly drowned. <laughs> this camera's so weird. Oh. Oh. I can breathe the what? I love that frowny face that he does. <laughs> He's like, um, well, this is unexpected. I seem to be breathing water. And slowly sinking up oh, yep there we go ah and here's that classic theme that everyone knows da 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 and where are we all in good time <laughs> yeah we'll we'll leave off here <laughs> any of this look familiar to you no where are we? We are in the land of Hyrule. The land of our ancestors. It, it really isn't that hard. Just say we're in Hyrule, because that's where we are. Fine. Cutscene over. And I'm just going to do this one thing because I find it funny. So if uh, <laughs> a regular waterfall, it would push you away. But this one's frozen. So what does it do? It does still push us away. <laughs> I love the sound he makes with this. Anyway, sorry. Uh, that was just for fun. So we are going to head on in and get the item to defeat Ganondorf. What will that be? Honestly, if you've played a Legend of Zelda game, you probably know. But... Link's going to be surprised. <laughs> so that is it for this episode of Wind Waker. Thank you all for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Talk about this. Share it around. If you think Wind Waker is awesome, let other people know. Because um, this game is well worth playing still. So uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.